This is the the name of the recipe is deep fried maraschino cherries juice. I was over yonder to the duct tape girl's house. These was in her refrigerator when I, I was getting ready to come home, and all she had she had done already eat the cherries out of these. Well, you all got them right there in the in the cabinet, probably with one or two cherries in it. But anyway, what the question is, what do you do with this? Most people just drinks it down when all the cherries is gone. But don't be doing that. Save them up and make you some deep fried. Maraschino cherry juice. What what you do? This right here was uh, I needed a cookie cutter this size. I, I cut the I, I cut the cap off of uh, something out of the bathroom, washed it up, and it makes the perfect little bitty little morsel for deep frying. Anyways, you cut these out. Extra uh, hot dog bun, and I split it down yonder, and it makes these perfect little balls right here. You need the whole bag of whatever kind of bread you're using, cause these little things is good, and you can make a bunch of them. What you do is make yourself one of these. This is 99 cent pancake batter, made a little bit on the thick side. The way you make this is the maraschino cherries. As you drop these little pieces of bread down in yonder. You drop them in there and let them soak up that cherry juice. I tell you, do not eat these little things when they're hot. I'm going to deep fry them for you, and you'll see what the resulting is. You soak these little morsels in the uh, cherry juice, and then you take them out, put them on a dish to kind of drain just a little bit. Uh, what you're doing is soaking up the cherry juice. Oh, they're delicious. I, it was my lucky day when I seen that you had these. But you take these out and put them on a put them on a pan, and and then what you do is you take the mixed up pancake batter and you you drop them in the batter. Now these are good and do not eat them when they're hot because they are some more hot inside. You put them in that batter there and uh, get them coated. Take them out. When you have them coated, uh, retrieve them from the batter, coat them good, put them on, put them on. I use a paper plate with, on account of cleanup. I'm not much on cleanup, and the duct tape girl, she don't like getting involved in cleanup either. So you remove them from the batter, and if you do get aggressive with one of them every now and then, it comes apart, don't fear. Just go ahead, throw it. You can deep fry absolutely anything but you get the gist of this you do the whole thing and you're going to you going to be doing a lot of them because these little things is good you put them on the plate here i mean you'll have a whole mound of them when you when you get them all cut out and uh this is just a tip and and, and i didn't use no butter in this recipe but i do have some sugar on the sideboard here a brown brown cane sugar if you want to you can use it but i don't recommend it what I'm going to do is uh, I got the I got the Wesson oil in, in in the pan there heating up. It's at the right temperature, so I'm going to move over there and show you the. We're going to see these after they're finished, and I'm going to taste one of them. They're downright good, and if you have to get the green cherry juice, they taste the same. It's only the color that's different. But anyways, I'm going to cut some more of these out, maybe a thousand. Uh, I'm going to deep fry them now. The oil is hot. It's good to go. I have already been cooking these. It's deep fried maraschino cherry juice. And to recap, I rolled them in. I soaked them in the cherry juice. And now I'm deep frying them. And I got carried away. I have already eaten several. And I had forgotten how many you could make with one jar of uh, cherry juice. So I am going to cut this short because I have to go to the grocery store to get more bread. Because you're going to need it. You are absolutely going to need it. If you like popcorn, this right here is right down your alley. It may be the next thing at the next state fair. Be on the lookout for it. It's deep fried maraschino cherry juice. I mean, waste not. Waste, do not waste anything. 
There, I have. I don't use any butter in this recipe, so go ahead and call Paula Dean and tip her off that there's somebody over here that knows a recipe that don't have any. You're going to make a lot of these things, so just go ahead and get started on it now. It's one of those recipes that you don't want to be putting off. But anyway, you can see how they brown. Oh, they're delicious. Do, just do not eat them. Do not eat these little fellers when, when they're hot. Let them set on the sideboard and cool a little bit. And then when you break in yonder, it's, it's a flavor sensation. These little fellers are darn good. These little fellers are downright delicious. <laughs> Paula Dean ain't got nothing on me.